After you run your My Movie Launcher software, you see an, a screen that looks like this. The first fields you need to fill out are the project settings. So let's put a project name in here. And no spaces should be used because this becomes a folder name in uh, the JavaScript that runs in the background. So no spaces or you will get an error in, th in the app. Now the app label is the two little lines, one or two little lines that appear under the icon on your phone. So I'm going to make mine say my Moby. I'm going to add a space. That'll give me the line break. L-A-U-N-C-H-E-R. So that's going to be a two-line statement, my Moby Launcher. Web URL. Fully qualified domain. Now, if you're making a mobile website for, for a client, you should probably make them an M dot, which is very common these days, dot my, I'm going to go ahead and use capitalization for readability, mymobilauncher.com or m.mymobilauncher.com. If you're going to the mobile site, go ahead and put that mobile in there. That's when we're going to get the shortcut to go to the right URL. My version number, 1.0 code would be like a, a sub code number like if you're doing different re revisions a b and c or one two and three i'm going to leave it with code one it's fine whatever you want to use now the icons it comes with a series of icons built in it's the alpha alphabet basically let's pick uh let's see we're doing Moby launcher so that's uh that would be an m i have some uh alphas out here so let's do the m red that's kind of nice looking but you know, I don't want to do that. I like to create custom icons for all my projects. 96 by 96 pixels. I've got one sitting on my desktop. I'm going to go there and get it. And uh, here it is. Open that. There you go. That looks like a nice phone icon, doesn't it? Now the cool thing is, is I'm going to give you guys some icons. Uh, I've got an icon pack as part of the product. Next, you go into the developer information. Common name. Well, let's see. My company is My Moby Launcher. Um, company, organization, uh, web development, and organizational unit is my app dev unit. Um, so that's just something I put in there. Uh, these will display in the, in the Google Store, or the Play Store. Now your password has to be at least six characters. This is used within the code for encryption, I believe, and so you always have to have six characters. I just went ahead and put one, two, three, four, five, six just for ease of use. Enter a location. I'm in Houston, Texas, USA. Now, when I click Create APK, it's either going to work or it's going to blow up. If I get a red X, it means I did something wrong. There's a couple of common mistakes. If you have a space in My Moby Launcher project name or in your project name field, it will get an error um, because that is used to create a folder and it can't have a space in it. Um, not installing the correct version of Java. We need Java 7 JRE. It's a free download from the Oracle website. You'll find more about that in the handy user's guide. Uh, and if you use more than uh, less than six characters in password, I think it's the third time where you get an error. But I'm going to go ahead and click Create APK. It's going to ask me where to save my project. I'm going to leave it set to default. It's got a projects folder already. And notice it picks my the project name as the project. And then it also uh, needs an output director. I'm going to leave it in the default. It's going to be in the same place. Gives you a progress bar. Hey, there's that green uh, green check mark. That means it's all it's all good. So it says you got success generating your APK. This APK file is now uh, ready to upload to the Google Play Store. And what it does is it gives you a bookmark to this URL. Now, there's a lot of creative ways to do this. You can, you can use it for a simple mobile website URL, put it on the Play Store and let clients download it. Now, if you do build uh, websites for clients, you can now tell them I'll put you in the Play Store for an extra $97 and you can be on the Google Play Store where your clients can download it. There's other ways to make that work. You can put it on a website, a few other uh, cool things you can do. But I've got some other uh, neat tricks and ways to use my Moby Launcher software that can generate money or uh, 
give you uh, some really cool ways to become uh, uh, more productive on the internet.